Scott Harris, which is kind of weird. Yeah. It's kind of a weird fit, but whatever. Scott Harris was on the Mad Dog Show. He said this about the Tigers' team construction. And some obviously uh, a little expectation level here uh, for this franchise this year. I mean, obviously you've had good second halves uh, and in spring training with, uh, you know, Minnesota maybe not spending as much money and uh, division being wide open. A lot of people out of high hopes for the Tigers. So a little bit more of an expectation level this year, Scott, on your ball club. Let me get your thoughts on how your young team is going to handle that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if expectations internally are all that different this year. Um, we have to stay focused on the step right in front of us. You know, candidly, this this organization has been through some rough patches in recent years, um, and we haven't really earned the right to talk about playoff first yet. Uh, we've earned the right to try to beat the Pirates today, and so that's what we focus on internally. Um, you know, I think the middle of our lineup is populated by young hitters, and with youth comes variance and unpredictability. Um, but I think we got to keep giving these guys opportunities. We got to keep helping them make adjustments to, to find their way and be consistent every night. 20 seconds. And we got to keep leaning on the veterans we brought in this this offseason. Guys like Mark Canna and Gio Urshela, who are both off to really big starts at the plate, but also really helping mentor some of our young hitters in the clubhouse. Um, so, you know, I think if we stay focused on, on the here and now, we stay focused on putting together long stretches of competitive baseball, the rest of those expectations are going to take care of themselves. Scott Harris, DMAC. Pretty much without telling you, this is what they're going to do. Yeah. So, like, the whole free agency thing, the whole... I would even guess that that's going to extend to the trade deadline. Where, you know, hey, I would cut him a pass and cut the organization a pass if when the trade deadline rolled around, they kind of... You know how there's always that overpriced veteran that a team's just looking to get off of and, and yeah. save, you know, save half of that $25 million salary or whatever? Yeah. If the Tigers would have done that, if they wanted to say, hey, let's see where we are, and then maybe we can pluck one of these, you know, high cost veterans out that are on the last year of their deal, kind yeah. of a rental situation, I, I would even ride with that, D Mac. But from what I heard there, that's not going to come to fruition. They, this is what they are, and this is come hell or high water, man. This is what they are. You brought up money, and I checked out. We were talking about the Tigers. <laughs> they ain't spending nothing. Nothing. Dude.